Also, a third COVID-19 vaccine booster could soon become available as an extra layer of protection against the virus. Those who are immunocompromised are already getting a third dose. And 2 News reporter Madeline Ashley is here live with what a booster could mean in the fight against COVID-19. Mark Brooke, the Biden administration and health experts are expected to back the approval of a third dose for people who got a second COVID dose eight months ago, ensuring extra protection against the highly contagious Delta variant. Many medical experts excited for a potential booster shot. In some of the studies that they have performed that immunity to uh, COVID is starting to wane, um, particularly in the Moderna and the Pfizer for those who've received their first two doses, medical experts say this booster would further prevent getting COVID and other strains. We're also seeing vaccinated patients getting Delta. So this, this virus continues to mutate. And the thought process that as you boost your immunity, you'll be able to fight this variant. Currently, only immunocompromised people are eligible to get a third dose. Individuals who have that depressed immune system just do not mount the initial response to get them the level of protective antibodies so that third dose can produce a more robust response. And places like Meyer Pharmacy on the forefront of vaccinating those currently eligible. Eligible patients might include those living with organ or stem cell transplants, cancer, primary immunodeficiency, some people with HIV, and then those um, receiving immunosuppressive medication. If the booster becomes available for all people, medical experts feel it'll go to people in high risk environments first. And then uh, from a booster standpoint, look at your risks. You know, uh, healthcare workers probably should strongly consider it. Um, and then uh, the elderly, for sure. The plan for a third vaccine dose is still pending approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. If approved, health experts say we could see third shots going into arms by mid-September. Live in the studio, Madeline Ashley, 2 News, working for you.